Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip Tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at hit counters, or more specifically, we're going to see how many times, based on nightly recalculations, each of my listings has been viewed from a variety of different sources. So let's begin by first accessing the My Listings section. And from here, I'm going to select My Hit Counters from the drop-down list. All right, now because the fields that are included with your system's hit counter display may differ slightly from the one that I'm currently working with, for this tutorial, we're only going to concentrate on just the fields that are standard across most systems, namely the hit counters themselves. So in the first column, we see the total number of client portals hit for each of these listings. Or in other words, this figure represents the total number of client portals that this listing has reached either by an agent sending it directly to their customer or by having it sent through an auto email. Next, we see the total number of client views. And what this means is the total number of times your listing has been viewed as a full display by customers in their portal. For example, if the same customer opens your listing and views it 10 separate times, then the number in this column for that listing will increase by 10. And out of all the customers who have received your listing, the next two columns represent how many of them have actually added it as a favorite or a possibility. All right, so in the auto email column, we see the total number of auto emails that exist in the system for which this listing meets the search criteria. In other words, when an agent creates an auto email for their customer and your listing is initially included in the results, this total represents how many auto emails your listing has actually fallen into. Next, we see the previous 14 day views, and this is the total number of unique customer views during that time period. So even though the same customer may have looked at your listing 10 separate times during this 14 day period, it will only register as one unique view under this column, giving listing agents a much more accurate idea of how many unique customers were actually interested in their property. Now, as you know, buying agents who have chosen to enable concierge on their customers' auto emails also have the ability to review all listings before being sent. In the following two columns, we see how many times this particular listing was actually approved and sent from a concierge auto email, as well as how many times it was rejected by the agent. Now, under Agent IDX, we see how many times this listing was viewed from an IDX-enabled website. In other words, the agent IDX total will increase by one any time a visitor views this listing from a website where the agent has included the matrix IDX. And finally, the agent view column represents the total number of agent full display views from within matrix. And these views are not unique, so assuming the same buying agent looks at this listing 10 times, then this total will increase by 10. Also, Matrix does not show the actual names of the agents who have viewed this property, but rather lets the buying agent decide for themselves if they'd like to contact the listing agent for additional information. Now, if you notice, some of the totals also include a link, allowing the listing agent to see a breakdown of exactly when these viewings occurred, essentially giving them an additional tool to help measure the success or failure of a recent marketing strategy for a specific listing. These graphs can then be individually printed or shared directly with clients and sent to their portal. All right, on a final note, if you ever notice that any of these totals on this page have actually gone down instead of up, this is likely because the buying agent has deleted a customer who has sent that listing. In this case, all the views associated with that contact will disappear for that listing as well. All right, well, this concludes this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.